All Access Indy Phoenix is presented by Indiana Economic Development Corporation and AccuLevel. Super Bowl weekend is here. The countdown two days for the sixth straight year. Wish TV is your home of live coverage all week long in the host city. Sports director Anthony Calhoun is live in Phoenix. Exciting times. How are things out there tonight, sir? Hey, my friend. Great to be with you guys as always. Right now, of course, a beautiful afternoon here in uh, Arizona. As you guys mentioned, though, we are two days away and ready for this game to get started. You know, talking to some of the analysts on Radio Row today, uh, they tell me, and a lot of folks feel this way, we got a very evenly match up here between the Chiefs and the Eagles on Sunday in Super Bowl 57. Both of these teams are what a lot of folks felt would be facing each other in the biggest game in football. And when you look at these two teams, they say they're ready to go. Super Bowl 57, a matchup between the Chiefs and the Eagles. Whenever you're not here and then you get to be back on the stage again, I think it gets more special because you never know how many more times you're going to get. Some we work, work really hard to you know, get to this point. Obviously, we're coming for a reason and having a goal in mind. All eyes will be on two electrifying quarterbacks, 27-year-old Patrick Mahomes and 24-year-old Jalen Hurts. The two will be the youngest quarterback showdown in Super Bowl history. I think the best thing about Jalen is the way he works, man. He goes to work every single day. You can see how the guys follow him, man. They, they, they follow him, and they'll do whatever they can to help help that guy succeed. And so it'll be a great game, man. And obviously, he can do all the physical stuff. He can run. He can throw and do all that different type of stuff. But the work ethic is what will get you through, and I think that he, uh, he's at the top tier of that. It'll be a great game. I mean, it'll be a battle. You, you got the best of the best playing, playing against one another, you know, Two really, two really good teams, two well-coached teams, um, stacked with players, so it'll, it'll be a competitive game. The Chiefs are back in the big game for the third time in four years, and Andy Reid becomes the fifth coach in NFL history to face his former team in the Super Bowl. The future Hall of Fame coach knows the Eagles are loaded with talent on both sides of the ball. When you get in the playoffs, uh, that... That combination right there, the O-lines versus the D-lines on both teams, ends up being a um, thing that wins or loses games. So, uh, and it's magnified every level that you go up, every step of the that you move up um, in the playoffs. And so the Super Bowl, uh, it'll be magnified at the most. Former Colts offensive coordinator Nick Sirianni, in only his second year as a head coach in the NFL, has the Eagles looking for their second Lombardi Trophy in five years. You're happy that you're in this situation. You're happy you're still playing football, um, and and you take a lot of you do you take a lot of pride in that. Um, but we're not making it any bigger than you know what what it's our next game and um, in the same routine everything like that. We know we understand it's the Super Bowl. We're we're excited to be here, but you know we're going through the process the same way we've been going through it. Oh, it should be a good one coming up on Sunday right here in Arizona. Don't forget, everybody, join us tonight, 6.30, right here on Wish TV, as we get you ready for Super Bowl 57 between the Eagles and the Chiefs. we got so many great local indie connections to this Super Bowl. Our entire Sports A team worked on this show. Great stories coming your way tonight at 6.30 right here on Wish TV, please join us then. By the way, speaking of this game on Sunday, as of right now, Nick Sirianni's Eagles are about a one and a half point favorite right now over the um, MVP of the NFL, Patrick Mahomes, and the Kansas City Chiefs. We'll see what happens. One thing we know for sure, though, it's going to be a good one here in Arizona.